ladder maker version 107A. This is getting set up here for the video. And we'll put a few elements on here just to test it. And then we'll erase them. Or just use the X to erase. Now we'll get started. Set the hardware to nano, which it already was. And then here's a nano diagram, which is actually incorrect in the 107A. So use this diagram or the one on the website. It was mirrored. And we'll test the USB. And the nano is connected to TTY USB 0. Putting an input. We'll select uh, input 1 where I have a switch pulls to ground and output 6 where I have an LED connected to power. I'll compile that. It'll test USB and then upload. Now we can see that operate. Real simple. Push the button, light comes on. Now we'll show latching. So we'll erase everything. And we'll put a new input, which is input one, just as before. We'll add a counter. And we'll just count to one. Counter's latching by nature, so all we have to do is put the output to the LED, output six, same as before. And we'll have a latching switch. We'll push it one time and it will stay on until the nano is powered down. Push, stay on. Now I can show you how to use internal registers. All you need to do is share the name between elements. So here is uh, an output that we'll leave as internal and It'll be defaulted to name three. And here's an input, which we'll uh, leave as internal as well, but we'll call it name three from the drop down. Now those two share. And here's uh, another output, which will be the actual output to the LED. That one and that one share. Compile that. This should work exactly the same as it did before, except the output and input are routed through an internal register. and then the light stays on. Now I'll just go through and demonstrate a few things. Adding rungs, adding vertical wires, or, or parallel. You can add elements. Here's some normally closed, just to show parallel layout. If you hover over anything, you'll get a brief description of what it is. Now here's some operators comparison. You set what you want to compare to and the constant number, like four. And here's the equals comparing from, I'll oh, say name three to the value of two. In either case, it would never equal because inputs are only zero and one. Or how OR wires work. They just work square by square. So here's a parallel output. If you use the help, what's this? A little question mark comes up. And you get a more detailed description when you click on anything. So all the elements in the menu have a description. That's pretty much the extent of the documentation, but it's all there. So you should be able to click around and find out what you need to know with the what's this. Here's the diagram again for the nano. And that's the end of the program. Thank you.